Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Molly Vlogs, and I'm Molly. And today I'm gonna be doing something informative, which I didn't do in my other videos. And I'm gonna be talking about mathematics in nature. So let's get started. I got some whole stuff. I got some serum for 260. Some pepper for 50. This for 100. Okay. This for another 50. And not least, one huge fine pineapple for 200 rupees. Is that all my shopping? Yours. I'm keeping the rest of the amount here. Mathematics is important for us in everyday life. Not only for us, it's important for the nature too. Let me explain you how. So now I'm going to tell you what is Fibonacci series. So I'm going to draw it in short. So we had to do the scale and mark one centimeter first. One centimeter like that, and then you have to draw a box like that. And, close it. and now, similarly, you have to draw another one, another box. Now let's note it down as one. This is one and this is also one. And let's draw two centimeter box here below that. And note it down as two. Drawing next to that only with three centimeters. And this is going to be three. And this is going to be five. How is it? So just how to go like that and come like that. that. And come back here. So basically the design is something like this and I'm going to explain you how to it like these 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, what is that? So these 1, 1, like 1 plus 1 is 2, 2, 3 plus 2 is 5 and uh, 5 plus 3 is 8. So the Fibonacci series goes like this, like 1 plus 1 which is 2, 2. So 3 plus 2 which is 5, 3, 5, 3 plus 2 which is 5 and again 5 plus 3 which is 8, 5 plus 3 which is 8 and it just goes on like that. Leonardo Fibnoxy invented this Fibnoxy but before Acharya Pingala invented this who is an Indian but in the history nobody counts it now. So now let's learn more on Fibnoxy series. So let's learn how Fibnoxy series helps in nature. 
So first let's learn honeybee family. So now I'm going to explain you a honeybee family. So if a male has to be born, there has to be a female. If a female has to be born, there has to be a male and a female. And continues like that. Now it's in the Fibnoxy series form only. Did you notice something? That this order is in a Fibnoxy way. Like 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. That's because 1 is here, which is 1. 1 is here, which is 1. 2 are here, which is 2. 3, 3. 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And continues like that. So now I explained you the honeybee family. And now I'm going to explain how the plants grow. So now I just cut it the paper like this as a stem to show it as a stem. Let me keep it right here. And I made few leaves, five leaves. And keep one there. I take another and keep one here. Don't know if it's right or wrong. I made this golden angle which is 137.5 degrees. So let's measure it if it's right or wrong. It is right because it's under the 137 degree angle only. And now like that, we can measure everything. So now if uh, this is the common plants which they grow and if they grow like if you suppose keep it as this it's not right so that's why I use this golden angle to measure them correctly and know what's like the correct measurement and why I use this golden angle I'm gonna tell you so now I'm gonna teach you the Fibnoxy golden angle and the Fibnoxy golden ratio First, let me teach you the golden ratio. So, the golden ratio is like, suppose we have to take one number. If I take 13, so the immediate before number is 8. So, we have to take 8, which is the answer 1.618. So, this is the answer. Okay, keep it aside. And now, for the golden angle, suppose if one whole circle is 360 degrees so we take 360 divided by 1.618 so the answer will be 137.5 so this is the answer so this is the golden ratio and this is the golden angle the golden angle is found out mostly in the nature and let's show you more examples. So as you can see in this flower, they followed the golden angle. Like that. Because the petals are all over. And here you can see it more clearly in this flower. It's spread it all over in its own place. As this pineapple has many bumps on it, which are seeds. And these pineapples bumps are arranged in a helical way. So let's count them and see how many bumps are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there are 13 bumps in this pineapple. That this number is in the Fibonacci series. This, these leaves are also arranged in the Fibonacci golden angle. Which are 137.5 degrees. And here are more plants like this.
So guys, isn't this so fascinating? Mathematics helps nature, it helps us in our daily life, it helps all over the world. And I'm gonna bring more videos in the future too. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel while you're vlogs and hit the bell icon for more notifications. And please like my Instagram account and Facebook account and follow them too. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.